This is Gifty Etc. at giftyetc.blogspot.com. Today I wanted to talk about how I use OneNote in my Surface Pro 3 together with applications in order to plan my life. You'll notice that I set up my applications so that I have the basic ones that I need, then my planner applications, followed by serious applications and fun applications. That way I can quickly go to the parts of my planner that I need to rely on on the computer. Now only certain things are going to be used on the computer. For example, I downloaded this app called Daily Task and I use it to decide what I'm going to do every day. When am I going to share my blog? How much time am I going to spend cleaning my house every day? Am I going to do dishes and laundry? This stuff isn't particularly important, but life goes a lot smoother if they get done. They're also mostly done at home or at a computer, so it makes more sense to put them on my laptop than in my paper planner. You can see that I just enter the task one time, and then each day I'm just able to check it off or not, and I get a record of how many times I've done the task. So if the laundry starts to pile up, I can simply check and find out that I haven't done laundry in a long time. This won't replace my paper planner at all, but it allows me to work on tasks that are better done at home in a household notebook here electronically. Another thing that I can do with my Surface Pro 3 is to be able to do all of my blogging online, as well as keeping notes about my blog in OneNote, keeping ideas about my blog in OneNote, taking pictures for my blog, and keeping them organized all in one place. But I don't want to just spend my time doing my legal research, because I am a lawyer and that's what I do in real life, or blogging. I also want a way to organize my day. So I've set up OneNote, much like my planner. It has my planning area where I do things like my daily calendar, daily docket. It also has files and projects, which are two major parts of my planner. But this is for the ones that are better kept on the computer. It also has a work section so that I can keep my work planner totally online since all of my work is done on a computer. My only exception would be that dates and times are going to go into my paper planner. Now you'll see that I have a daily docket set up here. I just cut and paste it from an internet site. You can go to giftyetc.blogspot.com to find the link to that internet site. I use different daily dockets depending on my mood, but this one in particular has a lot of room for things that I'm going to be doing at home or that I'm going to be doing on my computer. If I wasn't doing it at home or on my computer, then I would simply go ahead and write it in my paper planner. In fact, I use my paper planner for all advanced planning. So anything but what's happening today goes in my paper planner. That way I have a really good record of everything that I'm going to take care of. But by making this daily docket in OneNote, I can use it on my laptop. And then there's this little trick that I can do. I can dock the docket to the side of whatever else I'm working on. And here you see me working on my blog with my daily docket beside it. To do that in OneNote 2013, simply go to your View tab and choose Dock to Desktop. And there you go, your daily docket or any file you're working on. Notes, a screenshot of a legal document, a blog that you wanna highlight, all goes right to the right side of your page. In addition, I can download something like a lunch menu. Now, anyone can do this in OneNote 2013, but because I have a pen with the Microsoft um, Surface Pro 3, I can go ahead and write my children's initials on the days that they wanna bring lunch to school. And you see that one of my kids is a big at school lunch eater and the other one's not. And I can just keep track of this and then it goes into my planner so that I know when to make lunches. I can make to-do lists and here's just another example of a to-do list that I keep in OneNote all the time. It's different from the to-do list that I keep in my planner because it's not deadline driven. If it was, it would go in my planner and it's only things that I'm going to be doing online. So 
by limiting my use of my computer planning and my OneNote planning to online tasks, I'm able to use it much more efficiently. One final example I wanted to show you, and again, you can read about all of this on my blog, but this example is time ma mapping. And all I did was cut and paste a little chart, put in the times when I would be working or at exercise classes or grocery shopping, and look at how much time I have left to work each week. It's also a good way to track your time. If you're an attorney, you need to keep time based on clients. Again, this is Gifty Etc., at giftyetc.blogspot.com. Thank you to my friend James McGuffey for technical support.